Well, hey guys, welcome to Bow Hunting Soul. Okay, so um, kind of a follow up video here on uh, feather and nose technique, right? Um, that is a cure, supposedly, um, or I guess something to help you get over target panic, right? It's kind of like a clicker. Now, I did a, uh, um, a video a while back on Sorry, I'm gonna tighten this up here. I did a video a while back on um, my feather, feather to nose technique, right? Where, where you're drawing back and that is your trigger. First of all, it's a couple things. First of all, it's a trigger um, to, let me use this arrow. It's a trigger to uh, make sure that you get all the way to full alignment, right? Full expansion. That way you're in alignment, all that stuff. And it's also a psycho trigger to let the arrow go. It's kind of like, uh, like a clicker. So, you know, the idea being, you know, you're pulling back and then you pull, pull, and then right there, right, you've got, you've got um, feather to nose. So how's it working for me? Well, it's tough, okay? So just like with a clicker, um, clicker, I don't wanna call it a, cl a, a crutch, it's a, it's, a, it's a tool, it's a learning tool. But just like with the clicker, eventually after the honeymoon phase is over, you get clicker panic. And I got clicker panic. I've got target panic, I've got clicker panic, whatever. So people were saying, well, you're just gonna get feather to nose um, panic too, because you're basically, you're waiting on that to touch rather than working on expanding properly. Or you're working on for the clicker, waiting for the click to go off rather than doing what you're supposed to do. 100% agree, okay? But um, just like if you guys have taken any of uh, like Joel Turner's course, for example, I'm gonna leave a link below, by the way, for the, the Push Archery Center of Knowledge courses there, Tom Klum, um, Joel Turner, those are the ones that will apply the most here, right? Um, and you would hear Joel say, look, the course or any of his techniques, they don't work for you, you work for it, right? So you have to be diligent, you have to use it as a tool, and eventually, um, you know you're gonna you're gonna get to doing what you need to do and if you need to go back you can go back and kind of reassess and, and and you know put tools back on or whatever but um so when i originally did the video on um on feather to nose as you know a psycho trigger and alignment tool people were like oh well you're just going to end up with clicker to nose panic 100 percent agree of course i am and i did but um if the clicker and a feather to nose, if they do the same thing, if they if they provide the same thing. At first, it's a honeymoon stage, and then after that, um, you're you know you have to work through not not, not anticipating this or the click, and you're actually just working through it. Why have an extra piece of, of anything on the bow anyway? I mean, I've had clickers on my bows for years. I haven't had one for the last year, maybe on any of my bows, but I got to the point where I just didn't want that on there because I'm using this as it. But there's nothing wrong with a clicker, 100% works for you fantastic use a clicker right so how is how has this been working for me well it's a struggle um, i've had to make sure that i am fully coming into alignment especially with this bow right i'm shooting my java man too it's on the you know leaning up against over here i'm shooting my java man too but any bow any bow i have but especially this one uh the asl if i don't come to full draw and then you know if i'm like this and, and my elbow is kind of like this I need to make sure I'm expanding because if I'm not, I get a weird pluck and I shoot high and left with this thing, okay? I left more than anything. Um, that is a very good teaching tool. Shooting one of these is a very good teaching tool to show how your form is not right. So the clicker does two things. It's a psycho trigger, boom, boom, right? It, 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 it touches the nose and it's gone, but it's also, um, it forces me that to not let the arrow go, which is a struggle by the way, I, I do it a lot, but to not let the arrow go unless I'm actually at full draw, which I'll, I'll kind of lock up here, but until I actually like pull, you know, and actually like finish finish that, that tension, then my elbow is not in good alignment. And when it's not in good alignment, it pulls my hand sideways, which, you know, which, which you know, creates weird torque on the string, which kicks, you know, <laughs> which kicks the arrow out that way, which I shoot left, okay? And then couple that with like dropping my bow arm or whatever, then it's just a mess. So um, all kinds of things to work on. So here we go. We're gonna take a few shots uh, at that turkey target over there. I'm about, I'm gonna say like 17 yards right here. All right, it's really windy today. So here's, here's, here's what usually happens. Sometimes I'll come like this and I'll lock up, right? I've got, finger to, I've got my, my finger in the corner of my mouth, but I don't, but I'm not actually expanding and I'm not in good alignment and the shot's gonna be crap. So watch, if I come here, here we go. Pull, pull, pull. That was a good shot, I actually hit my nose. Now, if you saw the arrow fly sideways, it's because I got a crazy wind ripping this way, okay? But it hit where I was, um, or within an inch or two of where I was aiming. Let's try that again. Here we go. Pull, 
pull, pull. Perfect, right? They're side by side. Got a big gust coming up. Gonna do one more. Oh, by the way, where you put your, if you're gonna use this, where you put your fletching, where it starts, okay, makes a big difference on your draw length. Well, at least a difference on your draw length. And if you, for example, buy factory ones that are pre-fletched, like this one, versus the ones you fletch by yourself, I don't know if you can tell the difference there. There is a, there's like, I don't know, quarter inch difference, right, on the lengths. You can't really, yeah, I mean, like that, right? So that little quarter inch, believe it or not, when you're at full draw, I mean, that's, <laughs> target panic, in my opinion, target panic happens in the last quarter inch of your draw. So if you're going to use this or the or the profile you know if you it's different if you have like bat wing it's different if you have shield um it's going to contact you and it's different how you know how you how you clock the arrow right where this is clocked if it's you know if it's if it's clocked this way this way where it contacts on your on your face so be aware of that all right last shot here here we go okay kind of full draw pull 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 perfect we'll do one more okay i got three Kind of good one. Well, pretty good ones. Let's see if I can hold it together for one last shot. Here we go. Okay, anchor, pull, pull, pull. Okay, that one I kind of did a bit of a pluck, but I'm happy with the shot because I actually did come to full draw, full expansion, and I um, uh, I hit my nose right. So this last arrow was the last one I just shot. Okay. So that was a bad shot, okay? But again, it was a bad shot because I did other, I mean, it's not just like, you know, the feather to nose thing or the full, you know, uh, uh, whatever you want to call it. That's not the end all be all, right? We still gotta do all these other things properly. We gotta make sure we're not dropping our bow arm. We're not plucking, you know, even if everything else is good and you're at full alignment, you know, you can still screw up, which I did over here, okay? But these three right here, right? Were the first three I did. And I'm pretty proud of those because they flew the way they're supposed to fly aside from the side wind of course and um i actually hit uh full expansion and feather to nose on every single one of these shots so when they say praise the good shots well i'm gonna praise the good the good i figure these are all good shots except this one's a pluck but i'm gonna praise what i was practicing which is feather to nose so anyway um if you need you know if you need if you need a clicker by all means use a clicker but again it's a tool not a permanent thing in my opinion um, because eventually you will develop some sort of panic and it's going to go kind of by the wayside. Same with uh, feather to nose. It's a tool, same kind of thing. You're going to develop some sort of panic and uh, you need to practice. So uh, again, not to keep harping on it, but check out those courses. I'll leave a link below. Um, you know, for sure they help whether it's the mental game or the, you know, alignment skeletal structure game. And by all means, I mean, you can tell I am not I'm not doing everything exactly perfect the way I should be, right? So this is a constant, constant, constant learning thing. So anywho, that's it. Um, if you like this content, I appreciate you guys watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Really, really appreciate you guys watching me shoot semi-poorly here. I appreciate that. And uh, let me know, are you struggling with uh, target panic? Do you have clickers, feather to nose, any other mantras, any other things you guys do? I'd love to hear it. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching.